Hi all, Peter Mitchell here, a participant in the 2020 Tour of Aotearoa, coming to you in my themed shirt. Um, I want to explain to you how you go from uh, this file here, KMZ, to this uh, map here. So in other words, downloading the data off the TA website, from the downloads page, and turning it into a map. Okay, here's one I prepared earlier. Hudson and Hall styled. You can see here that um, the data is broken into sections. We're good. And also that you can add your own layers. I've created one called accommodation, a little map in there, for the place I might be staying. So how does this all work? Well, you might not be aware, uh, but there is a place called uh, my Maps. I'll show you what happens when you go mymaps.google.com. I'm already logged into a Google account, so it automatically swaps me around and puts me into a place called Google My Maps. I've clicked on this Create New Map, um, and uh, you can see other maps here that I've created. This is the old map data from the Tour of Aotearoa from February 2019. All right, so um, what I've done is um, I've clicked on Create New Map. Um, you can see down here, previously I've, I've clicked on the uh, file download from this page and it's downloaded it into my Downloads menu. And you can see here, there's a handy little button called Import. Well, if you grab that, it will ask you to select the file from your device. In other words, go off to your Downloads folder, uh, grab the file, and uh, upload it. And um, it takes a little while, and then it will bring up your map. Now, uh, obviously, you can uh, title your map here. Uh, you can title layers, or they'll pick it up from the KMZ file. And uh, there we have it. So um, that's a pretty straightforward process. But notice also um, that you can um, add a layer. Let's say you add a layer and uh, you call it, uh, let's type our layer um, accommodation. And uh, then we do a search. Let's say we're going to um, start putting some pins on our own map um, just so we've got phone numbers and locations and so on. So if we go to Ahipara and go to the Holiday Park. Okay, um, if I now, uh, uh, Google's located the business that I was after. If I go click to map, click and add to map, it drops a pin on my giant map. Okay, if I click the little uh, paint bucket, I can change its color, I can give it an icon, um, and then it occurs in this layer on this map. So if we just zoom zoom right out, see what's happening here is it's putting it's putting it's put that pin on our map. Well, obviously you can map all your important locations such as um, boat trips. So you could add a layer called uh, boats or you know, crossings or whatever. Um, and then you could put in the operator's phone number and so on. And it would all be clickable off your map on your phone. Uh, to be able to access those businesses, have directions to those businesses, and so on. So potentially that replaces these, um, puts everything in the palm of your hands, puts everything in the cloud. Um, there's also an important thing to notice about um, this application, and that is that you can download all the maps offline. Uh, for about two months, you can preserve the data, meaning that you don't have to have an internet connection to be able to use your phone to read maps. Anyway, um, so that is a little bit of uh, background on um, what that file here can do, how you can use it. Um, your starting point is mymaps.google.com. Um, You'll need a Gmail account or a YouTube account to be able to log in. And um, then off you go. My email address is peter at mitchell.co.nz should you wish to email me um, if you've got any questions. All right, uh, happy mapping.